are you? Why? I was emotionally damaged by Pink Diamond. What kind of fool do you take me for? She's emotionally damaged by Pink Diamond. She's emotionally damaged by Pink Diamond. You're emotionally damaged by Pink Diamond. I'm emotionally damaged by Pink Diamond. Are there any others? Gems my mom hurt that I should know about. That's right. Can you believe that it's almost been an entire month since Steven Universe the movie first came out? It honestly just seems like yesterday that I was preparing for my viewing party by making cookie cats and together breakfast. It's hard to believe that time has passed so quickly since we were introduced to our new best friend, Spinel. And along with being introduced to Spinel, as per Steven Universe fashion, we were also introduced to her emotional trauma and motive for trying to kill Steven. And there's a lot to unpack here, but I think the one thing that we can all agree on is this. Spinel was abandoned and mistreated by Pink Diamond, causing her to lash out in pain and desperation. And this seems like and already has been an ongoing theme throughout the series, as Spinel isn't the first of Pink's victims that we've seen. As per usual with these topics, there's been multiple takes and interpretations on Spinel's actions, as well as Pink Diamond's actions. Along with these fan interpretations, we also got Rebecca Sugar's intentions while writing Spinel, which to my surprise, angered a lot of people. Rebecca in an interview stated that, the thing about Spinel is that she's a really toxic person. She's so toxic that she's literally trying to poison people. In my interactions with friends, who have had a history difficult enough to make it hard for them to trust other people and sometimes even actively want to hurt others, it's just a very difficult situation to navigate. I wanted to explore what it's like when you're trying to help someone who really doesn't want to help themselves, who wants to embody the negative feelings that they have about themselves. She really wants to hurt Steven and there's a reason that she does because she's in so much pain. There was a lot of people accusing Rebecca Sugar of victim blaming, which is the act of blaming a victim of a crime or any wrongful act and holding them entirely or partially at fault for the harm that befell them. So in this case, people were referring specifically to Rebecca blaming Spinell for being abandoned by Pink Diamond and saying that she deserved it. And this isn't at all what Rebecca was trying to say here or what she was even hinting at. Rebecca wasn't saying that Spinell deserved to be lied to and abandoned by Pink Diamond, but what she was saying was that Spinell was the one who chose to act in the violent way that she did after her abuse. That her actions, both literally and symbolically, were toxic to those around her. It wasn't Spinell's fault that she was abused, but it was her fault in how she acted after the fact because she consciously chose to hurt people, even if it was out of the pain caused by another. But how exactly was Spinell abused and what effect did that have on her? In order to fully understand what Rebecca Met in her interview, we need to go back to the garden. Spinel was created to be Pink's best friend, a companion that would both play and entertain Pink, keeping her at bay while she wasn't being taken seriously. This would give Pink something to do while the other diamonds didn't have time for her. But when Pink finally received her own colony, she had no need for the garden anymore, or for Spinel. Spinel was under the impression that Pink Diamond loved her and that she would take her with her to Earth, but Pink no longer had a use for Spinel. She was finally being taken seriously, and she finally had something to do and didn't need to be entertained any longer. She would have her own colony, her own gems to look after, everything she was ever pushing for. There was no longer a need for Spinel. The role that she was compensating for was no longer empty, and so there was no longer a reason for Pink to be around her. She had grown tired of her. So while Spinel was excited about going to Earth with Pink, Pink had different ideas. She told Spinel to play a game with her, to sit still and wait for her until she came back to the garden. Spinel, wishing to make Pink Diamond happy, was all too eager to play this game with her. Little did she know that Pink Diamond never intended to come back for her. So instead, she waited. 6,000 years, she stood still, waiting by herself, until Steven's message reached the garden. The message that Pink Diamond was no longer around and that her son, Steven Universe, had brought peace to the galaxy in her stead. Spinel's world may have stood still while she was in the garden, but Pink's was always moving, evolving, changing, without her. The person who was supposed to be her best friend and be important to her. This was the moment that she realized she had been so blind and naive to Pink's words and actions. She never intended to come back for her. Spinel was never good enough for her. Everyone was happy without her and she was forgotten about. She and her world may have stood still, but the time she had been left alone had still changed her, 
and not in a good way. At this moment, she was hurt so deeply that she decided that if she wasn't allowed to be happy, why should anyone else be allowed to be? Let alone the son of the very person who had inflicted this pain on her in the first place, and who was also a direct benefactor of the love and attention that she had worked so hard for. Why did he deserve it, but she didn't? And from her abuse came this toxic mentality. She hadn't done anything wrong, so why were they allowed to be happy and she wasn't? Why Pink did what she did is an entire video topic in of itself, but all that we need to know for this video specifically is that Spinell was abandoned and had an unhealthy relationship with Pink. Pink had fooled her into thinking that they were playing a game, and she left her to never come back. Spinell was abandoned by the one and only person that she ever loved and wanted to see happy, and that's why she was traumatized from this. Pink found new people to spend her time and continue her life with, and Spinell wasn't one of them. Despite how much she did to try and make her happy and be of use to her. How were these people deserving of being her friends, but she wasn't? Did she play wrong? Did she not devote enough of herself? All Spinell could really think in this situation was, why? Why was I abandoned? Was I not good enough for her? I did everything that she wanted and asked of me. I changed myself so that she would like me. So why was I not good enough? Why was I not good enough for her? This hurt is what led to Spinell's anger and toxic actions, because now she feels as if she's too broken and warped from Pink's actions to ever be loved by anyone ever again, as evidenced by her embarrassment in her new form before being reintroduced to the Diamonds. She feels they wouldn't want her because she's damaged. This is also why after Steven gets her to remove her gem injector, she automatically panics and goes back to attacking him. She truly believes that she is incapable of ever being loved by anyone because she's been made unlovable through her abuse. In doing so, she accidentally self-sabotages a developing friendship with Steven and continues to hurt him and the others, because she believes that she was being used and manipulated yet again. After all, now that Steven had no use for her, she was sure to be left alone again, just like she was with Pink right? Sometimes abandonment happens before the person is capable of understanding that they're not responsible for others' actions. If this happens, the person could develop the belief that there's something wrong with them that makes them unlovable. Other symptoms of abuse are as follows. Separation anxiety, panic, fear of being alone, heightened emotional responses related to abandonment trigger, clinging to unhealthy relationships, vulnerability in social situations, hypervigilance related to perceived threat, panic attacks related to unconscious triggers, attraction to those who are unavailable to reenact the original abandonment, etc. All of these instances that I have listed we saw in the movie, each of them getting worse and worse until the climax of the movie where Spinell herself decides to break the cycle and stop taking it out on others who had nothing to do with her pain in the first place. Spinell felt like she needed someone to take her pain out on since Pink was no longer around. At heart, Spinell was not a hateful individual. She was someone who was hurt so badly that she resorted to hurting others and thinking that that would reduce her pain or somehow give her some sort of relief and knowing that other innocent people were also suffering. Because if she wasn't allowed to be happy now that she was unlovable, why should they be allowed to be happy? She wanted to hurt Steven so badly because she thought that there would be resolution in that. And even if there wasn't, at least she wasn't alone in her suffering. But Steven couldn't change her mind that this was an unhealthy way of dealing with her problems. Ultimately, Spinell needed to be the one to realize that herself and break the cycle. Steven could help her heal once he understood, but he couldn't force her to change. Once Spinell realizes that taking her anger out on somebody who just wants to help her, and who she so desperately just wants the friendship of, she stops. Because she realizes that in being so set in hurting others back, she is sealing herself off from being loved and loving others again, which is ultimately all she really wants. And this goes for any mental illness, really. The first step to healing and getting better is acceptance. You need to accept that something is wrong with you and you need to want change. If you don't want to change or are convinced that you can't change, everyone in the world can try to help you. But if you aren't seeking that help out for yourself because you don't want to better yourself or you think that you can't, you're going to stay the same. If you want to remain bitter and hang on to your hurt, that's how you will stay, no matter how much others on the outside looking in want to help you. Rebecca wasn't saying that Spinell was a toxic individual because she was abandoned by Pink Diamond. Spinell was a toxic individual because of how she decided she was going to deal with the pain of her abuse. The actions that she made consciously because of Pink's abuse were toxic and intentionally harmful actions. And although she was abused, she still decided to make these actions and hurt others. 
That makes her a toxic person. She only broke this cycle once she realized that it didn't really make any sense for her to take her pain out on other people and that she was really only closing herself off. Spinell was a toxic person, but she made the self-realization that her actions were toxic and she is taking the steps to fix that because she wants to be better. She wants to have friends. She wants to love again. She doesn't want to be alone or to hurt others, but she understands that in order to do that, she needs to deal with her abandonment in healthier ways. Trying to kill an entire planet out of revenge isn't one of those ways. It's a long road for sure, but she's put herself on the correct path. I think the reason this statement from Rebecca bothered people so much is because they took it personally. They see someone who was discarded by a person who they loved and trusted, and basically treated them like they were trash. I think that this is a situation that's relatable to a lot of people, and so a lot of people see themselves in Spinell. And so when they hear the word toxic used when in relation to a character whom they identify with, and may even be projecting onto, they're hurt and become defensive. No one ever wants to think of themselves as a toxic person. But it's important to note that everyone deals with abuse in different ways. This includes abandonment. All we need to do is look to the others from the show to see this. Pearl reacts very differently to being abandoned by Pink than Spinell does. Pearl has had her fair share of toxic behaviors regarding her trauma, but they were very different and not as exaggerated as Spinell's. Pearl also doesn't do these actions intentionally, and sometimes is unaware that she's even hurting others in the first place. Pearl isn't a bad person person, but she did, especially in the earlier seasons, have some toxic behaviors. Behaviors that she actively worked to fix on her path to self-recovery because she didn't want to hurt others or be in pain anymore. Even Garnet and Amethyst deal with the abandonment of Rose differently. Garnet doesn't accidentally or intentionally hurt others, but she instead puts a lot of pressure on herself to be a perfect leader. This only hurts Garnet and is self-inflicted. Amethyst doesn't really hurt others either, but her self-worth takes a beating because of Rose's disappearance. While Rose did leave to have Steven, which is arguably one of the best things she ever did, the gems still felt abandoned as it was her choice to leave. She left them with such huge responsibilities, and it hurt them and left them with scars, even if they're better off now than they were before. Not everyone who has been abused or abandoned is a toxic person. Ultimately, it's how you as an individual choose to act or not act in response to your trauma that makes your actions toxic or not. Victims oftentimes rise above the abuse that they endured, because they don't want the cycle to continue and for others to get hurt. The entire premise of Steven Universe is how one person's actions can indirectly impact thousands of people, whether that be in a good way or a bad way. It's meant to make you think critically about how you treat others and your relationships with them, and the consequences that come with that. While Spinell's toxicity is amplified because cartoons have the ability to be extreme exaggerations, the message is still the same. She is acting like this because of how somebody hurt her, yes. She is choosing to approach it in a toxic way, but is also the consequence of her unhealthy relationship with Pink that led to this point. It's still Spinell's fault for acting this way, since she is actively making it a point to hurt other people, but it is also a consequence of Pink's actions. She wouldn't be acting this way if she wasn't hurting, after all. In the end, the main moral of this story is that you can make it different, you can make it right. You can make it better, you don't have to hurt yourself or those around you. But you need to want that change, and you're the only one who can make those first steps to becoming better. If you don't want to be better, you won't be. And that is an important and extremely powerful message. Change starts from within. Others can't force that change on you, even if they understand the pain you went through or had similar trauma. They can help you, but you need to want that help. Spinell finally realizes that she's worthy of love and stops shutting herself away from others through her actions. She knows that she messed up with Steven by hurting him with her toxic behavior, which is why when presented with the opportunity to start over with somebody new who she hadn't, she jumps at the chance. She'll love again, and she finally feels like she's found the opportunity to do so in the diamonds. It's far from perfect, and she still has a long road to go down, but she's starting. She knows she's worthy of love, and she knows she'll love again. She just needs to find someone. But hey, that's just my interpretation. As is par for the course with this show, everyone gets something different out of it, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Today's video is powered by Patreon. My top tier patrons are Zachary Ansley, Base Layer, Taz, Ambrose Rothwood, and Brandon Nunes. It's because of people like them that I can continue to make content like this. And if you liked this video, why not subscribe and hit that bell icon to receive notifications from me of when I upload. And I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day, everyone.